I ordered another human hair lace front wig off of AliExpress for Cherie. It is 12 inches long. It's a blonde wig. I can't remember how much it cost me. I'll put it up on the screen right now though. And uh, it came in this kind of like silky type of bag. I don't really know if it's silk, but pretty. And the packaging other than that is lackluster. But I mean, it says 100% human hair. I mean, the packaging's all right. I've never been a stickler for wig packaging, just as long as the product looks good. So we'll open that up and I'll be right back. So this is the wig fresh out of the package. I just kinda, oh, we're not focusing. There we go. The hair itself feels really soft. It's got a nice shine to it and luster so far. Um, other than that, I'm actually looking at the hairline and the hairline actually looks really amazing as far as being pre-plucked and ready to go. But yeah, it looks good. I mean, like I said, I'm not a stickler for shipping as long as the hair feels nice, looks nice, and all that kind of stuff. So definitely worth it. This was less than $100. So I mean, if you want 12 inches of human blonde hair for less than $100, AliExpress. I'll put the link in the description. I don't make any money off of it, by the way, just so you know. I'm back again one more time because I realized I didn't really talk about the uh, cap construction. Cap construction looks good. It's got the uh, glueless um, adjusting straps, bands right there, elastic bands, that's what I'm trying to say. It's got a bit of lace in the back so that you can glue it down if you would like back there. It's got the comb in the center of the back, a comb on the side, comb middle of the top, and comb on the other side. Um, I did say it's a lace front. It is a 13 by 6, which is really freaking awesome. So you've got a nice large parting area. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've covered all of the metrics. And we will move on to the next part of the video. So how's your life? How's your day going? Just kidding. <laughs> What's the tea? No. <laughs> it's cold. You moved and I fucking sprayed you in the eyeball. No, Nearly. Fucking psychopath. No! Scoop, 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 scoop. Canton speed, so we'll just. I'll throw on the all on the coated. So it's just some fucking whatever type of rubbing alcohol you got on whatever type of thingy you got to clean her hairline. Ow, there's a pimple there. There is, too. She doesn't have. Because typically your skin is like practically flawless. Truth comes out. Okay, so I'm gonna go wash my hands because I'm gonna be applying the glue with my fingers. We're back with clean hands. And I'm gonna be using got to be because that's our preferred method because Shri only wears this wig for till the end of the day. <laughs> so. I actually had someone ask me in the comments one time, they're like, that's a lot of work, how long does she wear it for? And I'm like, um, she takes it off when she gets home. But, this install method is supposed to lack, last a, like a few weeks, but I don't really see how that's a thing. Because, like, I don't know, if you live somewhere, somewhere really dry and that never gets hot, so you like never sweat, then or if you never go outside. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, if you never go... experience the heat. If you never go outside, if you never experience heat, if you never work out, if you never sweat, then got to the glue can last you two weeks, three weeks. But, like, really, everyone sweats at some time. <laughs> throughout that time, so... So I've got my layer of gel down. I'm gonna take this spray that she absolutely hates. I'm just gonna spray a little bit and rub it around, cause 
when you spray on the spray, you'll feel that it kind of makes the whole area slimy, and so you just spread it out as far as you can to avoid, you know, making your person super uncomfortable with constant bursts of freezing cold spray. Because all this really does, as far as I've noticed, is help the gel dry faster. That's all I've noticed. You can use just the spray, you can use just the gel, but supposedly gel and spray is the best way. Now that you've got those layers on top of each other, that's considered one layer. If you're new here, that's why I'm explaining this. And then we blow dry on low to cool heat. Anyways. Is it cold? Yes. <laughs> oh, didn't expect it to be like, I'm over here dying, so. I think that's enough. I haven't even touched it to see if it's enough, but I'm guessing it's fine. Eh. I mean, the first tutorial I watched said you want every layer to be bone dry. But then other tutorials after that don't really specify it, so honestly, I just blow dry it for a few minutes till it's dried more than it was, and then I apply it in the next layer. Ultimately, I think once you get to your last layer, as long as you get that nice and tacky, you'll be fine. She just came in here and farted. She fucking did too. That's what her was, that she got away with it. I have that on video, and I'm not taking it out. <laughs> no, you farted while we're recording. So what did my dad say? The whole internet's gonna know that you farted in a room and walked out on us. Which is funny right now, but when you're a teenager, ooh, blackmail. Oh, they can't... Instagram can't stop me from farting in a room. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. Instagram Facebook. can't stop her from farting in the room. Fucking her idea. Go away! So we've got our next layer of gel laid down. Do another layer of the cold shit that she hates. And also for those of you who are new here, you don't have to worry about the gel being on the hair because it's literally hair gel. So as long as you're not ripping it off your head with it dry, your edges will be fine. Things are not ripping it off your head in general. Have sense. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Oh my god. It's these studio lights. Jesus Christ, okay. One more layer, ladies and gentlemen. And our final layer of spray. And we're gonna blow dry the last time and we're gonna make sure that it dries more so than any of the last two times, three times that I've. Okay. Once it starts giving like the spring back where you get like some white sticky residue type stuff, that's when you wanna lay it at least in my opinion. Just like I said in the video before this whole install thing, it's got one, two, three, four clips. Probably won't use the one up here on the crown of the head because of the cap, but I'll definitely use this one right here. Okay. So I'll go up underneath this wig cap that I got going on. cool thing about that to be is you don't have to rush. You can kind of relay it several times if you're having trouble. So take some scissors and cut the lace around the ears. It's probably the best thing I should have done, but oh well. Okay. She's silent. Okay, so before you get up and go, we're gonna we're gonna heat it up. Whew. 
Now we're gonna let it sit for a little bit. We're gonna go down. We'll be right back. We're back. That was like 10, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. We're not really sure. Ready to release this and just kind of hope for the best because we're definitely not redoing it. If it's got wrinkles, we'll just style it accordingly. That's how I work mm -hmm. with Shirazzle Easy because Shirazzle, Shirazzle ain't got no patience to be dealing with. That little shit. Ooh, bitch. We melted that shit. I'm just saying. When in doubt, just grab something silk, tie that bitch up. Yeah. Is it comfortable, Shree? Mm -hmm. Should I cut this excess lace back here or is it uh, fine? Probably. Okay. Shree, will you do me a favor and hold? Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Get back. Go. Okay. So. Be careful when you use water after using. Got to be not to spray the lace that's laying the wig, obviously. Just spray the hair. That's okay. If anything, I'll just free tie it down real quick after we get it styled with something or whatever. Tie it down with something. Just kind of getting our part figured out though. So what I'm going to do, high heat, blow the direction that I want the hair to lay, and comb with it and it'll help lay it down. With high heat, I don't know if I said that, I'm stuck. We'll do our... 338 degrees Fahrenheit, it says, at least. I'm going to use the Gov Style Plus Care uh, motherfucking heat protectant. It, sa it says it protects up to 450 degrees smooth and shine heat protection spray. So, that's what I'm using. Okay, we're back. I didn't bring the fucking hairspray. I'm gonna be using this right here, the Herbal Essences Volumizing Hairspray number four, which is the strongest hold. Not for any particular reason, just because it's the hairspray that we have. I'm using it to tame these flyaways. Excuse the mess in the background, everyone. Excuse the mess. Alright. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.